Hello, welcome to this video. In today's video, I'm gonna take you through my everyday carry for conferences. So next week, I'm gonna be in London. I'm gonna be at QuickBooks, Get Connected for London. And I'm gonna be there all day, sharing tips and tricks at the QuickBooks conference at a stand there with Aaron Patrick. So, I'm gonna be away from the office for a period of time, more than 24 hours. So I need to make sure I take everything I need to do my job at On Point Accounting, my job at Client Engager, my role as creating content for this channel and my other social media channels, and to be able to deliver the, what I'm doing as tips and tricks at QuickBook. Normally when I'm out and about, if I'm just out for a few hours, I use this bag. This bag's absolutely fantastic for when you're just out and about for a few hours. It's the Tom Tok one. It's fantastic, it's waterproof, well, it's rainproof. It's really nice and padded on the inside. It holds an iPad Pro, MacBook Pro 14 M3 in there, no problems. Nice big bag at the end, a bit here at the back to put your other iPads in or your notepads in. A section on the front to put pens and stuff like that in there. And another big section on the front where I've always got my trusty power packs, which I did a video on the other week. So that's what I normally take with me as a bag if I'm just out for a few hours, going to go to a client meeting, something like that. So that's what I take with us, with me if I'm just out for a few hours, going to a client meeting, going to a coffee shop to have a change of scene so I can just focus on doing some work without any other distractions. This is what I take. The problem is though, when I'm at a conference, I'm away for two days minimum. At best, I'll go in the morning of day one, travel for day one, go to attend the conference on day two, and on the way back, I'll travel back that night. So minimum time I'm gonna be out of the office is two days. So I need to take everything I need for all of my different roles for different companies. For me to achieve that, I use this bag here. So this bag is a Targus bag, and it's branded by Intuit because Intuit gifted me this bag a couple of years ago. So this is a fantastic bag. I've been using this pretty much all day, every day for every trip I've done for the last two and a half years. And the only signs of wear and tear on this thing is a hole in the netting on one of the side pockets because I scuffed it against the wall. You can't blame Targus for my incompetence and my clumsiness, can you? So let's have a look at what, why I use this bag. This bag is fantastic from a point of view of padding on the back, so really nice and padded and well ventilated as well. It's also got fantastic straps, really well padded. Uh, it's got your chest strap on there as well, so that's great. And yeah, overall, just very comfortable to be using when you're out and about. What do we have in this bag, back pockets wise? So we've got a nice big laptop bag compartment here. In here, I normally have my M3 MacBook Pro 14 inch, and I take my iPad Pro with me as well. Sometimes I need multiple screens, and that's the way I do it. On the back, there's a nice little security pocket for passports, whatever you want to put in there, so that's there. You then have a nice main section. Now, if I'm just away for, for overnight, that section is more than big enough to fit some clothes and stuff in, which is ideal. There's a little velcro section inside it as well for my iPads, a small iPad, probably iPad 5, maybe the 10 inch absolute maximum size in there. And it's got a nice netted bag in, bit in there to keep some bits separate as well. You've then got this traditional organization side. So we've got a netted bag in here. We've got bits to hold pens, notebooks, etc., cables, phones, all of that good stuff's in there. Basically, this bag has got plenty of storage and that's why I love using it. You've then got a small front pocket on, at the top. In that, I always carry my QuickBooks tote bag. You never know when you're gonna need a tote bag when you're out and about. And you've also got another little pocket here, which is quite handy just to slide small documents in like rail tickets, stuff like that. It's really handy to go into this little pocket here. So first of all, I put my I, MacBook Pro M3 14 inch in there. Now that's an expensive bit of kit. So I make sure I put it in this laptop case. This is another TomTok laptop case. It's absolutely fantastic. It's extremely well padded in there, very well quilted. So that gives me complete confidence that what is a very expensive laptop is gonna be safe in this pack, in this packet. So that goes in the bag and it goes in the laptop section of the bag as well. Now, as I said, now whilst I take my MacBook Pro, I also take my iPad Pro. Sometimes you need two screens for everything that I do. 
So having a small iPad screen isn't great. So that's why I take my laptop and my MacBook Pro. And you know what? If my laptop dies of battery, which takes a hell of a lot of going, you know, I would have to be quite neglectful and not charge it for days. This buys me another bit of time where I can do pretty much everything I do on a laptop on here. So that also goes in the back laptop compartment. So on top of all of that, I then have this other TomTok bag. I really like TomTok bags. They're very good quality, very reasonably priced for what they offer protection wise. So in this bag, I keep an assortment of cables and stuff. When I'm out with podcasting, recording, footaging, doing footage like this, doing vlogging and stuff, you never know what cables you're gonna to need to plug in with. So I've always got backup cables. I've got my backup SD card in there. Absolutely tons of just stuff that I might need while I'm out and about filming all this content. The reason I particularly like this is when you put it in your bag, the handle's on the side, but actually there's another handle here. So this makes it really easy for me to be, just reach in and pull the bag out and be able to put it in there. So yeah, another TomTok bag there, very useful. So just a note, none of this video is for sponsored. There are some referral links down below, so that will help sponsor, support the channel if you do want to support the channel by buying any of this kit through my links. Otherwise, nothing's sponsored here. This is all kit that I love and use in my day-to-day -day life, and that's why I'm promoting it and encouraging you to have a look at it. Okay, so on top of that, this is another little TomTok bag, a bit like a wash bag type size. But in here, I keep my DJI uh, gimbal, which is what I use on my mobile phone. Don't often use my iPhone 14 Pro for filming, mainly because it's a bit big and a bit obvious and it also drains the battery of an important device that I need for other re reasons other than filming. So that's why I use this camera in my DJI Pocket mainly. But I take that with me just in case. Right, on top of that, I also take this, the Insta360 Go Free. The reason I have this camera is it's great for sitting there and doing time lapses and just getting B-roll footage of when I'm stood talking to people. It just sits nicely out of the way. But the main reason I take this with me is because I get all the B-roll when I'm traveling using this part of it. So the Insta360 Go, the main little camera hub comes out of the main device here and it can just go on to a magnet on your jacket. I've not put the magnet on me today because I'm not traveling, but that'll go in a pocket there and on a magnet medallion necklace thing and that'll capture all the B-roll that you see in my footage when I'm traveling to and from different trains and stations and stuff like that. So make sure that's packed as well. Now while you're out and about, you want to get all the charge you can when you can get it. So what I do is I take this with me. This is the Ugreen charger. It's the 100 watt one. It's a fantastic bit of kit this. So this can charge three USB-Cs and a USB-B at the same time, no problems at all. It's got the built-in technology so it doesn't overheat your devices. It controls how much power goes to each device to make sure it's charged at the optimum rate. So that's absolutely brilliant for when you're on a train, you just plug that in and you can run your laptop, your iPads, your phone, everything all off. Okay, so when I'm out and about, I have to do quite a lot of recordings of audio. So I always take my DJI mic. Now this is the mic one. I really like the mic two, but for 32 bit, for a couple of 150, 250 pounds to upgrade to another two set, I just don't see the need for it at the moment. So I've got the version one. Now it is missing a mic here because I've got that wearing on here now. So I'm wearing this mic now, but absolute built like a brick house will not fail me. Never, never lets me down that one. So along with all of that, I also take my DJI pocket free. So I don't use this pocket free for capturing B roll as such when I'm traveling and moving about. That's what the Insta360 goes for. It's very small, it's discreet. People don't get upset when you're walking around with that on. Whereas the Insta, uh, the DJI Osmo Pocket Free, it's a bit, it's still, it's discreet, but it's not discreet enough in my view. So I take this to capture my B-roll, to capture people speaking at events, to be able to vlog to it, to, to be able to show you and give you my insights, all as we go. So that's a great bit of kit there. And of course, on top of all of that, I've also got my Air, iPad Air 5 with the Apple Pencil. So the reason I take this as well as the iPad Pro is this is better for when I'm sat there taking out down notes in meetings. If I'm making quick notes, I just prefer writing on this. It's a smaller device. It's more, more notepad size than the Pro is. Um, so I just get this out and do that. This case, by the way, this case is from Paperlike. 
I absolutely love this case. It's probably one of the best cases and I've used and it's one of the longest standing cases. I get a case, I get bored of it, I don't like it, I find faults with it. This, however, I've not had any issues with this whatsoever. Um, and I always put a paper like on my iPad screens as well, making it easier for me to write on the screens. So final couple of bits then, I've got my Anchor power bank for my mobile phone, which we covered in the previous video, along with my other 10,000 milliamp Anchor power bank. Absolutely fantastic bits of kit. Don't go with any bags without those put in them. And then I've also got the Ugreen dock here. So this Ugreen dock plugs into either my uh, any of my iPads or my laptop, my MacBook Pro. And it just gives me the ability to have two USB ports, two USB-C ports, and a HDMI when I'm out and about. So you never know when you might need a dock like that. Comes in very handy, especially when I'm doing sessions at QuickBooks and stuff like that. So there we go. Yes, I take a lot of kit. However, it's always worth it. You never know when you run multiple businesses and you've got multiple tasks to do when you're out and about in the form of capturing A-roll, B-roll and audio. I've got to be able to run my businesses from wherever I am. I've got to be able to do whatever I am doing out there. So like on next week, I will be delivering sessions on how to use QuickBooks to the best effect and tips and tricks and stuff. I need to be able to do all of that and I want to carry it all in one bag. And that's what I've just shown you is my everyday carry for when I'm out and about. Now remember, none of the equipment in this video has been sponsored by anyone. I've not paid, been paid to tell you how good it is. I just use it because it's great kit. If you want to purchase any of this kit, a lot of the links below are referral links, which will get you that kit from Amazon and other direct suppliers. And I might get some kickback for that, which helps the channel out. Otherwise, if you want to just like and subscribe to this channel, that'd be much appreciated as well. I'll see you next week when I'll be doing a day in the life of me. You'll be able to follow me behind the scenes as I travel down to London, attend the QuickBooks conference, and maybe some other sneaky shots and inside info of what I get up to when I'm in London. Thank you very much for tuning into this video and I'll see you all next time. Hello, my name's Johan. This advanced is a lot more powerful than it's online. Okay, so But it's a good business, the owner just doesn't care. I'm not sure how much good content Liz is getting out of this. We are live. I've got Johan Gorry in the house. And welcome to another episode of Ask the Accountant. We have cool friends. Oh, I do a podcast every week. Aaron and I actually met and came up with the idea of this podcast. <laughs>